Okay, so this is first part of the build. Um, and uh, the two things I like to do with the build is one, make sure all the components are working. So I tend to wire them all up, configure them, basically get the electronics as a, as a unit working successfully, not mounted in a copter. And the other thing I like to do is sort of dry assemble the frame and make sure things fit and decide where things are going to go. And in particular, get cable runs of the correct length and sort of crimp cables and all the rest of it. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to put the frame together or the bottom part of the frame. Now, I've had a little bit of a go at this before, uh, so, so it took me an awful long time to figure out what was going on, but uh, uh, I can shortcut that now. So the thing, thing you have to realize with this frame is that it's actually got uh, little nuts embedded in the carbon fiber. So, um, and, and obviously there's a right way and a wrong way for this, uh, but uh, yeah, so the, 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 the um, Screws that apply uh, that are supplied screw through the carbon fiber into these embedded nuts and then tighten them down. Um, and I don't know whether you can see there's kind of a, a a wider side and a thinner side. And so obviously the wider side is on the top because it's going to pull pull down onto the, the carbon fiber. So this is a this is a dead cat style. Um, frame so the uh, uh, we've got the two front arms are set further back um, than the, the rear arms again I picked that frame a because it got good reviews but also dead cat style is again something that people seem to have trouble tuning so we'll see how I get on um, I also managed to glean from the photos that these little you can see there's a cutout on the frame uh, on each of the frames, which leaves a gap, and that gap is supposed to be on the bottom of the arms rather than the top. At least that's what the uh, the pre-built RTF um, frames do. Uh, and uh, uh, so you can see, then there's a sort of long gap um, underneath. I suppose, ah, thinking about it, that's probably where the battery strap goes. That would be my guess. Uh-huh. Well, no, it's too big. Uh, blow that. <laughs> anyway, so um, there's there's a big pack of bolts that come with it, and uh, uh, I want these long M3 bolts. You see, they've got some little blue. Um, I assume that's uh, thread lock on, uh, on it, and the long ones are going to go through the 30.5 man mounting holes. And then there's some slightly shorter ones, these 10 mil ones, I believe, M3, that uh, are gonna go on the, um, the, the forearms. Uh, so I'm gonna do that now. I should just say, and uh, I won't bore you with doing that, but I'll, I'll uh, um, switch off the video and then show it to you. Uh, I should say thank you to the uh, Ardu Pilot Foundation for sponsoring this work. So they've paid um, for the kit, uh, and uh, um, it's great that they've done that. I think this is a great uh, service to the community. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right, and through the magic of television, in the best. Blue Peter style, here's one I prepared earlier. <coughs> so uh, I, I put in the bolts. Um, first thing to say is clearly my maths isn't very good because it's a three millimeter bottom plate, three millimeter sort of mid plate and six millimeter arms, which makes 12 millimeters, not 10 millimeters. So you need 12 millimeter M3 bolts in here. And there are actually four of those only, well, with one for luck. Uh, and then M3 bolts uh, in the middle for the stack, uh, and then um, nylon, uh, nylon nuts on top to act as a spacer for the, the flight stack. 
The other thing to say is that these the kit doesn't come with the right hex. There are, it doesn't come with a hex at all apart from the GoPro mount. So you need um, uh, what we call an Allen key in, in the, the UK uh, of the right size to tighten these up. It must be a pretty, I, I don't know what size this is, but it must be pretty standard because this is the one that came with my, um, I think a Lumenier kit or maybe an Armaten kit. So it's, it's very, very standard size, uh, but you will need one. To, to tighten these and you can actually do these to be quite tight the uh, um, uh, the nuts embed a little bit in the in the comb fiber as you're tightening up uh, and uh, you can see it's really pretty solid now <laughs> as you might expect with all of that carbon fiber um, and uh, the next thing I'm going to do not now but the next thing I'm going to do is sort of dry mount the, um, the 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 SCs and the flight controller to to see it how it all fits and you can see that uh, uh, there's not a great deal of room um, on this uh, so once we've sort of we we I have to see where the top plate sits but uh, um, it seems unlikely that you get a stack of three on there it's probably more likely two. Uh, uh, very likely to uh, and so my VTX and uh, receiver are going to have to go elsewhere which I think is fine and I'll, I, I'll um, uh, talk about that in the next video thank you